All right, so in the videos prior to this, you've seen the, the actual wheel going around, you've seen the logic, um, and you've seen the basic how things are done. Now, um, the one thing I have changed is I put a speed reference in here. Uh, that speed reference is done based upon uh, some structured text. Let me explain this structured text real quick to, for you and uh, maybe have uh, some, some clarity around this. So let me bring this in just a little bit so you can see this. Now, in the first scan, now, First off, I have an if statement, right? So let's just come in and shorten this up so you pay attention to one thing at a time as we go through it. So we have an if statement right here. And now this is saying if a first scan happens of the processor, I wanna set the speed uh, select of each one of these to zero. Or actually, I wanna set the speed select to, to uh, of zero to one. And the rest of them I'm gonna set to zero, okay? Now what that's gonna do is gonna protect our system to say, okay, there's no speed indicated, right? So at a speed of zero, and I'll show you this, at a speed of zero, if speed select zero is on, then the speed is going to be zero. All right, so the speed setting will be zero. Now, else if we're gonna have uh, the speed select one, if that's on, then we're gonna have a speed setting of one. Else if two and then so forth, right? So we're, we're basically saying two if statements right there. One, if the processor is has transitioned from remote run to program or lost power or is the first boot up or first cycle of the processor, then it will use this logic right here. Now that's a protection agent and that's something that you can put in to help. Um, it's, you know, different scenarios, different uh, purposes for that, right? So um, then when it comes down to it, we have our speed select. Now our speed select is done slightly different. So as we're saying, we're, sa we're gonna use a case example this time. Okay, so we're gonna say if the speed setting is zero, then we want a speed reference of zero. If it's a one, then we want 1,000, okay? Then if it's a two, we're gonna have 2,000. And then a three, 3,000, four, 4,000, and you can see from then we end the case statement. So each one of these is just three statements and you can easily see that right there. And I'll show you this too. Um, and on this version of Studio 5000, you have the ability to toggle uh, inline value display. So you can see these actually functioning. So you can see right which one's actually active at that set point. You see the first one, the first scan is not active right now. So let's ignore that one. And let's come down here and look at this. You can see right here, the current speed select is, is one and the one is currently representing 1000. Now, if I come over here to my actual uh, controls where I have my speed selects, so if I select speed select two, it's gonna go to 2000, all right? So easily right here, now it's at 2000. Now, one would think, why don't you just go ahead and write that up here, okay? Well, there's two reasons, right? So one is for clarity up here to make this really simple and to not have a big drawn out uh, you know, first uh, statement, if you would. Uh, for two, when it comes down to it, it's, it's more of using two different things and actually having, you can build in more redundancy and you can build in more uh, value having that statement done. Now, yes, you could have one if statement that says if speed select zero, then speed of uh, 1000. You, you could have easily did that. But in this scenario, we chose to break this up because the simple fact of having the speed setting right here, if we choose or deemed to control this, like say for instance from the HMI, if we have a um, numeric entry or something of that nature, we can add, you know, add it from there and, and, and actually change it from there. But, but just simply put, you can easily change it just by clicking this button right now. I made this very simple scenario so that we can actually understand that and understand the way that property works. So again, if I come down into my code, now that my code is, I have all this in speed control and structure text, right? So if I come over here, you can see my speed reference to each one of my MAMs, which is my, my motion axis moves, are going to be a speed reference of 5,000 at this current time, right? So you can easily see that. Now as the trend, I actually have the trend showing that as well. So you can see kind of what's going on right here. So watching the trend, you can easily see that the speed, now 
currently the way I have this S curve, you're not going to see the speed actually hit 5000 because the simple fact of it does not take that much velocity to actually move to my position that I'm actually requesting to move to via the actual MAM. So I'm only going to a position of 500 and going back to zero. So uh, the S curve is going to actually lower the, the actual speed to only, or the velocity of the servo to only achieve that goal if needed, right? So it can use up to an excess of. So with that said, we really don't benefit from having a, a speed select of 1000 in this scenario using an S curve. We really don't benefit from having that 1000 to a uh, 5000 because the speed of the wheel is not going to necessarily change because you can see right here the peak, the peak of my actual velocity is based upon my S curve. Now again, I talked about the S curve before, so uh, when it comes down to it, tuning an S curve, and then now, contrary to this, if I did not have this on an S curve, if I had this on a trapezoid, this would act completely different, and uh, the velocity would be based directly off of the speed that I put right here. But just to show you the logic behind it, I just wanted to show you some simple logic to actually control something. Um, and again, when it comes down to actually you know, having that, um, having that ability, it's really, really simple. It's really uh, a good feature, but just understand your scenario too. If you're using a trapezoid or if you're using an actual, um, you know, uh, S curve, like I'm using right here, right? So this is using an S curve. So just, I was just kind of looking at why it went out of, uh, out of, uh, spectrum right there. It's probably because I don't know, we did, we changed speed. So what happens is, if I change speeds down here, then I change the speed interrupt, which happens to cycle the MAM. And if it's in the middle of a process, what that does is it upsets that that specific uh, instance of that process. So that's why you've seen that big jump right there. But now everything, you see that I'm not messing with the speed. Everything does seem to, it goes right back to normal. And it depends on when you change the speed on how that's gonna react, right? So if I do change the speed again, if I let it get to a stable point, I change it, then it will start off and not have that problem. Well, you see right here, it, it still ended up having that problem because you have to be right on when you're when you're doing that. Uh, but just keep in mind, uh, this does that's the reasoning behind that because I do cycle that MAM. Uh, if you don't cycle the MAM and you change speeds, it will not update itself. So unless you use a motion axis. Uh, our motion dynamic change and that's a completely different topic so let's actually talk about again going through this and talk about the logic we added and the speed reference right so that's hopefully you learned a lot just uh just by going through that and kind of experiencing the speed logic and kind of understand how that works and the reasoning behind what we're doing um it's just so you kind of understand and to kind of give a base implementation of just some simple code behind a servo uh, in a simple wheel moving back and forth so that you can see the instance of the velocity changing or you can see the instance of it hitting its position. We're currently going to position of 500 so you can see the way that works. Hopefully you learned a lot from that video and we'll see you guys on the next one.